all right guys this is Stephen Gogoi and in this video I'll discuss about bank nifty and bank nifty update so now you can see bank nifty last few days uh, price is soppy so here you can see so there are no momentum in this area because we have seen uh, buyer and seller are fighting in this area they are not able to dominate in any direction all right so you can see price just open here and price drop down again push up here same drop down push up like that and then mostly they are creating a dozy pattern all right so if you want to see uh, momentum of this wave so let me tell you so here you can see first we have seen large wave large momentum wave and again price drop down here we have seen large momentum wave here and again retracement now when price is pushing up so you can see in this area we have seen very low momentum right so let me uh, show you by using uh, this is called MSCD moving average conversion and divergence so now you can see here so in this area we have seen so let me show you exactly just a minute all right now you can see in this area we have seen uh, that was a lower high and the price are creating higher high so let me connect these two swing point have you seen so when we connect these two swing point so we have seen they are pointing toward upside that means uh, price pointing toward upside have you seen All right so when I'm Oh, uh, when I connect in MSCD, let me show you how it should look like that. So have you seen in this area? They are pointing toward downside, right? Uh, when they are con uh, forming this type of pattern, it is confirming that or uh, it is a probability to reverse back from this area right mostly it's happened so let me show you like here they are creating lower low in this area have you seen lower low but in MSCD you can see they are creating higher right because there is low bearish momentum in this area by uh, indicating by MSCD have you seen they are creating lower low lower low all right and at that time you can see in MSCD they are creating uh, let me change the color because it is all a green so let, uh, when they are creating lower low all right here you can see they are creating lower low but in MSCD you can see they are creating higher all right and this is called trend reversal pattern so after that you can see when they appear above this zero line and uh, from this area and price is running toward upside so similarly we have seen they are forming this type of pattern so in that area you have seen this is a higher point and this is a higher point and higher point and in this area we have seen they are creating higher high and higher high and higher high let me uh, let me draw a line by connecting this point you can see this is pointing toward upside and here you can see they are pointing toward upside that means there they will continue the upside all right so when from this area you can see they are forming like that pointing toward upside in the, in the price but here you can see they are pointing toward downside so they are confirming or it is a probability to change the trend so that is why you must close your position at that time all right that was the daily so let me show you in a four hours time frame how it should look like that all right let me remove this one and then i can see here now yeah in a four hour chart we have seen here yeah, just a minute uh, after forming this dozy pattern or you can say uh, this is called inverted hammer so price are uh, continuously they are forming bearish candlestick pattern right so most of the people are thinking can I buy here or can I sell here in this area one thing always remember before you enter in this market you must uh, follow some uh, trading rules or you must have a 
specific rules entry and exit and remember everybody have own specific rules entry and exit so my specific rule is that i'm looking for short after breaking this uh, supporting line because i'm not interested to take any position uh, above this supporting line so we have seen around three to one one uh, zero uh, there are supporting line so why this is supporting line so we have seen price was rejecting from this area multiple time have you seen price was rejecting from this area multiple time we have seen here price was rejected here we have seen price was rejected in this area we have seen here rejected and rejected so i drawn a horizontal line so they are act as a resistant now oh sorry support now so i'm looking for short after breaking this supporting line that is my rule all right for the buy i'm looking for a candlestick pattern because we never know in which direction price will go for the sell i'm looking for to break out this supporting line and uh, for the buy i'm looking for a a uh, specific candlestick pattern this is called bullish candlestick pattern so i have uh, like mostly i follow five most important candlestick pattern so i'm looking for among five uh, like one candlestick pattern in this area above above this supporting line if they appear above this supporting line and i'll place buy order above that pattern that is my specific rule and my target will be somewhere here a little more above previous higher point all right uh, that is my rule and uh, let me show you in a 15 minute chart how it should look like now i can see in a 15 minute chart price is running still above 200 right but according to the price action method they are creating lower low and a lower low whatever they are creating here yeah, I don't have uh, like uh, any intention to enter in this market. My specific rule is that for the short, I'm looking for break out this supporting line, and for the buy, I'm looking for a bullish candlestick pattern above this supporting line. All right. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.